So we'll wait. I think, I think May next year, that fight can happen. What did he say? And I, I'm taking that fight to win the fight, not to to make a quick buck. Bullshit! 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 bullshit. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm bullshit. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, AG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I don't know what time it is. The docs is in the house. So check this out, man. So we have news apparently out of the Canelo camp. Or do we? You know, Canelo, Saul Canelo Alvarez, aka Cinnamon, man. He shall be fighting Edgar Belanga um, shortly, you know, on a pretty much stacked card on September 14th, you know. Canelo is pretty infamous, you know, for not having the best undercards, but this time he's going all out. You know, I think it's because of his uh, imminent battle for the same date, you know, with a Turkey Alashik sponsored um, UFC card, right? So, you know, he brought the cavalry, right? He's going against Edgar Belanga, revitalizing the Puerto Rico and Mexico uh, uh, bat battle, you know, saying that age old battle, you know. Um, so that brings him intrigue to the fight. But then in addition to that, of course, he has Caleb Plant returning to the ring against Trevor McCumbie, uh, 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 undefeated, uh, pretty big puncher, you know, with a high KO rate. Um, you know, Caleb Plant, last time we seen him was over a year ago and he lost to Dave Benavidez by unanimous decision. And then we also have, who else on the card? We have Danny Swift Garcia making his return against Arizlandi Lara, who's a champion at middleweight, even though they're talking about it being a potential catch weight at 157. Um, and then we also have Roly Romero's. Roly's! Roly's! You dumbass. Going against uh, Manuel Jaime's, I believe is how you pronounce his name. So he has a pretty stacked card. Um, but in addition to that, we have some news about what could potentially transpire afterwards. You know, check this out from uh, Chris Eubank. And I, I'm taking that fight to win the fight, not to, to make a quick buck. I know that fight can still happen, still will be made. You know, there's only a few, there's only a few guys that, this, that Canelo can fight. So I don't need to rush into that. I don't need to be kind of bullied and pushed into a fight. I think May next year, that fight can happen. I've been told his team, his team want him to fight in the UK. Yeah, so apparently, you know, Canelo has big dreams of going to Wembley. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going out, taking the trip out there to England. And, um, you know, I, I reported on, on a past video that Canelo was talking about potentially having a fight in Japan. You know, so... He, so Chris Eubank's not all the way off, you know, um, um, in regards to Canelo's uh, in international uh, ambitions, right, to fight overseas and abroad and stuff like that. So I think that'd be dope, though. You know what I'm saying? I think he'll build his renown. His, I mean, he's already the face of boxing. He doesn't need it as far as renown goes, popularity goes. It's already established. But, you know, you can always gain more fans, you know, in, in, in England or Japan. Um, the, what I think is funny, though, is that Chris Eubanks, I think... I'm not trying to be rude, man. Shout out to Chris Eubanks, but he just sounds a little delusional. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> you know, is it just me or does he sound a little, you know, deluded and stuff? Like, I feel like, you know, as I, I get what he's saying and I agree with what he's saying. Like, you shouldn't be rushing to a fight. You know, you should be trying to win the fight. Of course, it should be your priority. And of, of course, you fight for money as well. But he's, he's, sir, he's saying there's more than money he's fighting to win. So he's going to take the fight uh, when he's ready. But I just think that he's kind of mistaken, right? Because Canelo's a cash cow. Canelo's a face of boxing. He's the, he's the revenue generator. So I'm sorry, brother. You kind of take the fight when he's ready. You know, <laughs> he dictates the terms. Um, but but shout out to him. Shout out to Chris Eubanks for standing standing on his own too. You know what I'm saying? And 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 um, saying that he wants to take it when he's ready. I just my fear for him is that. This fight, a type of fight like this could potentially come once in a lifetime and you're a fighter like him. It's not like he's bringing no disrespect, but he's not a champion. He's not undisputed. He's never been undisputed. He's not, you know what I'm saying? So my, my point is that I'm not downing him. I'm just saying that he's not really in a position of leverage, you know what I'm saying, to, to really determine when that fight could happen. You know, as long as he's in shape, I think he should take the fight. But also, most 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 importantly, prioritize what's best for you. But I'm just saying for him to say so definitively, that the fight is going to happen next year, I think is a little, um, <laughs> a little far-fetched, you know what I'm saying? A little, a little delusional, you know, but it could still happen, you know, it could still potentially happen. I just don't know, uh, uh if, if it actually happened because, you know, he fumbled the bag before and, and, but, but we'll see this time. Maybe, maybe, maybe he does know something that we don't. And I would assume he knows more than me about it, but in 2025, I'm not sure if Canelo fights, uh, Eubank. And if, and if Eubank thinks that he is the one that's going to decide whether or not Canelo fights in May or if he's going to fight him, um, 
I, I don't I don't I think he kind of has it has it a little backwards. You know, I think he has to pay attention to that and, and be careful of that because you don't want to lose a fight of the opportunity. And even though I, I think that he should be ready and he should be prepared to win. I don't think he wins, you know what I'm saying? And I personally, as much as I do respect his position, that he wants to make sure that he's ready to give himself the best opportunity to win and not rush into that situation, I don't care if you rush or you're patient or you walk or you run. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think you're going to win that fight, man. I don't think anybody with, with a pulse would, would, would have Chris Eubank winning, whether you're from America, England, Mexico, Japan, or otherwise, you know? Um, so, yeah, I just don't foresee that happening, though. But shout out to Chris Bank for Chris Eubank for standing on his own. And uh, we'll see if that fight happens, man. Let me know in the comments. Do y'all think that fight's going to happen in 2025? Uh, do you want to see that fight? I personally don't want to see the fight. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm fine. Uh, I rock with Cinnamon. So if he fights Chris Eubank, I watch it. But I would not be excited about that fight at all. If Cinnamon fights Eubank, I would be very disappointed. And, yeah, there's nothing that intrigues me about Canelo Cinnamon versus Chris Eubank, man. But but Cinnamon can do what he wants, and I'm going to tune in. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see, though. It's just very, I just thought it was very presumptuous of him to announce that he, he'll probably fight uh, Canelo uh, um, um, next after Canelo hasn't even fought his his actual next opponent, Edgar Belanga. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. But most importantly, remember with God, we can do anything without God, we nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.